two dollars. I don't need electrolytes that bad. Oh hey, huh. thanks for watching Science with Mike. Today we're going to talk about electrolytes. Electrolytes are basically compounds that when they dissolve in water, they conduct electricity. And you need them in your body. That should be considered a salt. No, Mike, no. No. Hey guys, so actually, um, this is salt. What you call salt is sodium chloride table salt. It looks like this at the molecular level. And those big and small spheres are ions. And ions are what conduct electricity in an electrolyte solution. Take sodium chloride, put it in water, it's now free ions that are able to move around. And to conduct electricity, you just need charged particles that can move. In a wire, electrons move. In an electrolyte solution, the ions can move and therefore conduct electricity. Now, I have a question for you. How many of you people think water conducts electricity well? Some of you said yes, and some of you said no. Some of you still just looking at the screen. That's fine. The answer is, it doesn't conduct electricity well. Let's go get some pure water in the lab. In the lab, you see we got two kinds of water, actually three, but the two kinds here are tap water, which you get when you drink out of the water fountain, and deionized water. This runs through a resin, which adds hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion, which combine back to make water. So all the ions are removed, and we'll find out how conductive it is when we go back in the lecture room. This gizmo will tell us how conductive something is because between those two wires, whatever you put between it, if it conducts electricity, this 25 watt light bulb will light up. This is a spatula. I'm only gonna do this for you folks right now. No, not really. See, wood doesn't conduct. <laughs> I'm just fine. No, no, Mike. Here's the DI water, deionized water from the lab. Put it right here. Nothing. Something. And that's the calcium and all the other ions that are in your water. They're not bad for you, but they conduct electricity. But that don't. That's pure water. Not a really good conductor. Let's take some of this DI water. Then we'll take some salt, table salt, an electrolyte, give it a quick stir. Whole bunch of something. Here's some canned corn. Oh boy, salty. How many milligrams is in this? Now we have a couple guests to tell us their perspective about electrolytes which are in our bodies, just like it is in our guests. Howdy, I'm Bill Pickle. And I'm Jill Pickle. We're the Pickles. Okay, uh, thanks for joining us, Bill and Jill Pickle. Uh, would you like to tell the audience uh, about the electrolytes in your bodies? Heck yeah, I do too. Ladies before gentlemen, my sweet kosher butter chip. All right, Jill, you're first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay you down gently on this little um, set of nails that uh, is connected to the wall outlet. And uh, don't worry. There you go. There. Jill, looks like you're about done. I'll unplug you here. All right. How you doing, Jill? That must be what it feels like to be a firefly. All right, Bill, you're next. I don't know about this. I'll quit being such a baby. I barely even hurt. 
I tell you what hurts when I gave birth to baby deal. That's that's even not about ten times what that felt like. Okay, now Bill, right inside your body, that yellow is the glowing from the excitation of sodium. Isn't that great? I don't feel that great. Okay, but that's the atoms that are being excited. All right, Bill and Jill, thank you so much for joining us. And thanks for watching Science with Mike. Some pickles were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs>